What are your goals in life? Are you passionate about achieving them? It's unlikely everything will fall into place as you hope. On this NSP short, Randy Turner shares the power of perseverance in his journey to be selected for Canada's Special Operating Forces. So I was very lucky um, when went to the 2nd Battalion, did a, um, a peacekeeping deployment in Bosnia in 2001, came home from that, and then literally six months later, we got spooled up for Afghanistan, which it just it couldn't have worked out any better. So I was super stoked and excited as a young young private, really, just to, to get those opportunities. And when deployed in Afghanistan, the our very first deployment, we, um, you know, we did some good stuff. It was a, a lot of good lessons learned. Um, and I had an opportunity to see a, a little bit of interaction with the, the JTF2 guys. And that's when I was motivated. When I came home, I said, okay, I, I'm going to prepare for selection and, and I'm going to give this a whirl. So it took me three years because the, um, the first application, I was still relatively new to um, PPCLI and <clears throat> not fully understanding the administration process. Um, I put my application forward and all the paperwork, I'm not casting shade on my section commander at the time, put all the paper forward in a nice fancy folder and uh, gave it to him. And I just kind of fired and forgot, expecting that it was going to get processed. And deadline had come and gone. I went to check up and see what the status was. And, and he apologized for not submitting the paperwork. So it sat on somebody's desk yeah. and never went anywhere. So I said, okay, um, I'm going to learn from that. And now I have another yep. year, another year to prepare frustrated as you can imagine but I said okay everything happens for a reason so get back to the grindstone I'm working I'm training this time stay on top of the paperwork and the administration I follow it to the end and then two weeks before um, I did my uh, well it has been two weeks before going on selection the window had opened for selection I had a BPSO interview and at that time the night before the BPSO interview I was I used to race ATVs when I lived in Winnipeg and I was out on my bike and I shouldn't have been and I broke my wrist so I showed up at the BPSO interview with a cast on my wrist and she looked at me and said um, this is going to be a problem <laughs> yeah. and I said no 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 no." they told me four to six weeks and, and the cast will be off so I'll be ready to go for selection She's, she shook her head and she said no you have no idea what you're getting into you need to be 100% healthy so long story short year number two came and went <laughs> so um, you know back to, to doing things in the second battalion and and start training again and get ready for the third attempt and luckily on the third attempt um, everything went through and I uh, was able to do selection and successfully completed and then I was picked up and course loaded for uh, the assaulter course which started at that time January um, 2000 and 2004 